I tried making Eggo sandwich, Eggo fries, Eggo tacos. But yeah, no, I'm done. I just can't eat Eggos anymore. Hey, I'm Super Senpai, and today is day 50 for quarantine for me. So while we're all adjusting our lifestyles, here are five things that I've experienced and my friends have experienced you guys shouldn't do while being at home or working from home. So let's get this started. Cooking. Look, cooking is nice, and it's good for you to learn new things. But there's two issues that come out of this. You're probably going to be cooking too much. For example... I actually did it wrong. Set something's on fire. I forgot to add water. And this, my friends, is a tamoyaki whatever. So if you guys want to try this at home, and why are you? Oh, no, don't, don't, don't look at that. No, 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 no. It takes 24 eggs to make a perfect egg, so you can't expect in the first try. Don't look at the fire. Fire it makes a smoky flavor. So you know accidents happen, but you know we have the perfect egg right now. So yeah, practice does make perfect, but experimenting to feels that you're not comfortable with can lead to a lot of waste of food. So if you're trying a new thing, try simple recipes so you can waste less food and you can enjoy the simple things and save costs while doing so. Trust me, I wasted like seven dozen eggs from experimenting to make the perfect omelet. You are also buying too many ingredients in some cases. Like for me, I bought a box of Eggos from Costco because I thought, you know, I like Eggos. So it'll probably last me for the whole quarantine. I haven't touched them in a month because I got sick of eating Eggos every day. I tried making Eggo sandwich, Eggo fries, Eggo tacos. But yeah, no, I'm done. I just can't eat Eggos anymore. Just buy what you need and cook simple. That's the best way to get through this, that you can still enjoy cooking. Number two, sleeping. Look, sleeping is awesome. You need to keep up a consistent schedule so you can wake up and sleep at around the same time because when we get back to regular lifestyle, you're gonna need that when you go to work or even daily life. It's important for you to keep a regular schedule because if you go oversleep, it looks like this. Oh, oh man, that was a good sleep. It's Sunday, 10 p.m., big dinner. Uh, I wonder what time it is. It's 10 a.m. I'm so late. Tuesday? I missed the whole day. And it also can lead to this. I can't sleep right now. I slept too much. Ah, come on. Sleep. Ow. Sleep. Ow. Sleep. Ah. Come on. Sweetie. Ow. I need to sleep now. I need to sleep. Ah. Shopping online. Look, it's very simple to shop online. That's where the problem is. And most of the time when you shop, you usually buy things you don't need, but that's how you drain your wallet really fast. And every product you get, it produces so much garbage. All the bag air that protects your product, all of this garbage you can't recycle. The bubble wrap mail packages are garbage as well, you can't recycle that. The tape on the boxes, you can't recycle that, you have to remove it. And if the cardboard boxes get wet, let's say rain, they're garbage too, you can't recycle that. So at the end of the day, you produce so much garbage to every single product you order from Amazon. It's also probably cheaper just go to Walmart or a local business to buy something you need. Just cause one, you can return it easier, but two, you're probably gonna get a better product than you can get on Amazon. F you meal, I miss you orange juice. You also probably didn't need to accessorize your home to make a mini office for yourself. So this is my setup. I got a nice chair over here. I got three monitors ready to go for me to work hard. Got a wireless keyboard for ergonomic purposes. Got my drink water. Got all my accessories from Amazon to make sure I'm good to go. And this is where I work like six hours a day. It's more comfortable, my laptop's right over there, so, yeah. Snacking, look, I know we all love snacks, but it's so much easier to access to it that it's really a big problem. And the more you think about it, you realize, the snack's just next door. And that, I think, is how you get 10 pounds extra. Where did that come from? What you need to do is get a hammer, grab some nails, and hammer your snack drawer shut so you don't touch it until it expires. Then you can eat your snack. That's how you portion yourself. But in all honesty, just try to resist. If not, learn to portion yourself. Use small bags to make sure you only eat a certain amount every single day. Then your snacking could be a controllable habit. Oh, this bag was full 10 seconds ago. Number five, don't go outside. Very simple rule. Just be smart if you have to go outside. Social distancing. Okay, that's too obvious for number five. So number five, wearing comfy clothes. Look, I know it's nice to wear comfy clothes at home. If you're still working, wear work clothes. Don't wear sweaters and sweatpants or wacky fun clothes. 
or nothing at all. This can actually affect your behavior in the long run. I'm not saying suit up. I'm saying wear a nice dress shirt or wear a nice polo shirt and put on a tie or learn how to put on a tie because I still don't know how to tie a tie so I have to Google it every time. This can go a long way for you to get comfortable with your lifestyle. And even if you're not working, this helps you get motivated to say, look, I want to get ready. I want to do something today. That's why you dress up, not because of comfort, because you want to get motivated to do something today. And these are the five things you shouldn't do while being quarantined or working from home. Keeping a routine or a schedule helps us motivate ourselves so we're ready for the next steps. A lot of things are changing and we're all in this together. I know it's hard and it's affected me a lot too. So everything you do, just take it moderately. Make sure you sleep well, make sure you eat well, make sure you shop what you need, but don't overdo it. Just make sure you're doing this because you need it right now and eventually we'll get through this and life's gonna be normal. Thanks again, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh man, I really wanna get some Eggles.